opportunities multiply as they are seized. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. All warfare is based on deception. There is no instance of a nation benefiting from prolonged warfare. He who knows when he can fight and when he cannot will be victorious. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. The greatest victory is that which requires no battle. When you surround an army, leave an outlet free. Do not press a desperate foe too hard. Even the finest sword plunged into salt water will eventually rust. Tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat. To know your enemy, you must become your enemy. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. When strong, avoid them. If of high morale, depress them. Seem humble to fill them with conceit. If at ease, exhaust them. If united, separate them. The opportunity to secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands, but the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. There are not more than five musical notes, yet the combinations of these five give rise to more melodies than can ever be heard. All men can see the tactics whereby I conquer, but what none can see is the strategy out of which victory is evolved. One may know how to conquer without being able to do it. When the enemy is relaxed, make them toil. When full, starve them. When settled, make them move. What is of supreme importance in war is to attack the enemy's strategy. Treat your men as you would your own beloved sons, and they will follow you into the deepest valley. When you engage in actual fighting, if victory is long in coming, then men's weapons will grow dull and their ardor will be damped. If you lay siege to a town, you will exhaust your strength. Again, if the campaign is protracted, the resources of the state will not be equal to the strain. Thus we may know that there are five essentials for victory. He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. He will win who knows how to handle both superior and inferior forces. He will win whose army is animated by the same spirit throughout all its ranks. He will win who prepared himself waits to take the enemy unprepared. He will win who has military capacity and is not interfered with by the sovereign.